Well, hey you guys, I hope you're well. And uh, as you can see, we're in uh, the little office here at the house. <laughs> and guess what I did? So guys, just a short video today, simply because I managed to run over my vlogging helmet. Look at this. It used to be like one of those open-faced helmets, you know, you could lift up like that. And of course, got all the setup right there in the front for the action camera. But when young David and I were out doing the quad video, I forgot about my helmet and ran over the top of it. This one here. So what we need to do is transfer this onto this new helmet here. Got this for my birthday, I think, about three years ago. So we're going to cannibalise it and um, put that on there. I just thought it would make a good video. Um, to, you know, just for any of you guys that quite fancy doing some of these vlogs yourself. But this time around, normally... I don't use a microphone, you know, and I try to get the balance between the, um, you know, the noise of the wind, the, the noise of the bike in my voice, you know, and a good balance, so it sounds really good. But with this one, I'm going to try my best and actually hook this up with its own microphone. So guys, I have to say, I'm actually sitting here watching a, a one of these Scottish fishing videos that I absolutely love, about the trawler boats, you know. And uh, coincidentally, Sharon's away to get me a nice hard supper. So I'll have to stop this video very shortly. Take a break, but that's okay. But yeah, uh, guys, here we go, look. And basically what I did with this originally was um, tie strap it on there. And it has been perfect. That's been on there for a year now. Hasn't moved. Perfect. But the problem I've got with this helmet now, even though it's broken, is that now we're doing the Fireblade videos, I'm leaning across the tongue a lot more. So the angle's not what it should be, you know. So when we transfer this over onto the new helmet, we're going to have to think about that as well. But uh, basically, you guys, I think I've done... Let's see if I've got all my bits and pieces here. Yeah, we seem to have all the bits that we actually need for the minute. But yeah, so I have to get this angle absolutely perfectly. So when I'm on the, on the road and my head's farther down like that, I'm going to be able to see straight ahead. There we are, you guys. I hope you enjoy a little wee episode of the, the Scottish Trawlerman. <laughs> while we're doing this. That's if this is kind of bores you, but um, you know, if you're, this is what you need to know, then great. Let's get this out of here. How did I put this on originally? Oh, now I did put it on with a, a sticky tab as well. Yeah, look. And that's what it was in before. What I'm going to try and do this time is do the same thing with a tie strap and put the microphone. Let me just grab the one that I'm using at the moment. Put the microphone on up in there. Now I'm hoping that my voice will be a lot clearer and that we'll hear the noise of the bike really good but hopefully the wind noise will get cut down. So, we'll see. We'll do our best. Yeah, Sharon's going to get me a, a fish supper. A yeah, haddock supper um, from the North Sea, which is awesome. Probably just been freshly caught two or three days ago. But yeah, this is our Acaso um, action camera and this is the waterproof case for when we're out on the road. But to get the microphone in, we have to drill a hole in the side of it too. So it's it's not an easy job. This has got a little bit of work to go, but we'll we'll see what we can do. Right, so guys, we're doing good. Here we go, look. Now, I've made it quite snug for the, um, the microphone to go into the auction camera itself. It's just taking a little bit of time, but the drill in, just moving it around and around, keep trying it, then moving it around and around, and then keep trying it until I've got that real snug fit. But uh, I think probably have to use something like electrical tape just to protect it in case it starts raining. Because it is meant to be a waterproof case. But hey ho, that's good. But um, you know, I always hate to throw things out if they're not working. Um, you know, this, this thing here, this old microphone here, um, doesn't work on anything. Which is fine. Um, this one here is the one we broke when we were out in the quad. <laughs> so what I'm going to try and do is take that connection off of there, put it onto here, and try and make... A microphone for this helmet here. Right, so guys, we failed, I'm afraid. I did try. I did try. Oh, look, my fish supper came. Look, look at this. This is a haddock from the North Sea. And obviously, lovely chips to go along with it. And I like gravy with mine. Don't know why. But I tried to splice together, you know, these microphones. It's not going to work. So we'll just have to buy a new one. But it's not a showstopper. But uh, I thought oh, you can watch a little bit of uh, trawling with me for a couple of minutes <laughs> and I'll try and fire this down.
absolutely love this series, you guys. Absolutely love it. Our North Sea Scottish Fishermen. We're doing a revival ride just now, it's called. All these places where these guys come from, and this is what the Scottish guys give us. There you go. Right, I'm going to try not to be disgusting about this. I won't let you, I won't sit weak with you as such. Let's see if he's got some. Let's see if he's got the cord. I thought I've got a haddock actually. Let's see what he's got. Whoa, here we go. What's he got? I thought that. Monkfish are even more expensive than cold. Very ugly, but nice to eat. We're all happy. If you're all fun and got these things all day long, it wouldn't bother us. Very nice cod. Beautiful fish. Look at that. You see how he's smiling now? There's a change. <laughs> now, these guys are from Peterhead and Fraserburgh. <laughs> a bit more difficult to understand than me. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a big one. That's a biggie, eh? Oh, I could do that all day. Again. King Cod, that's what we used to call him, King Cod. Oh, I'll be happy with this one. Oh, yeah. Look at the size of them. Deep water, North Atlantic, you guys. So this is a prawn boat, you guys. Still got fish, but it's a prawn boat. She gets them. Here we go. Here we go, you guys. This is Peter Head. As Jimmy arrives, the auction has already started. He still has to unload his catch. 
Here we go, you guys. What's strong going to get? For these sizes, I would look for the... I would think the bones, I would think. And I guess. But I'm, I'm just selling them. I'm not buying them. <laughs> the bidding starts at 80 pounds. Oh, here we go. Awesome. <laughs> oh, he's happy. That's such a big, big price. I didn't expect that much. 110 pounds per box. With almost 200 boxes on sale, John's card alone have grossed 80,000 pounds. Jimmy has managed to get to the market, and the prices are still good, especially for the prawns. Look at that. So I was predicting I was going to make about 18,000 and we've made just under 20. And Jimmy's wife Irene arrives to give him a lift home. Right you guys, that's the Hoddock supper down now. <coughs> oh, right. Let's go nice and gentle you guys. One of three. Now this means I'll pretty much have permanent ventilation coming through this bit here because this opens and shuts, but that doesn't really matter to me at all, so let's have a look. <laughs> nice and gentle, you guys. Well, let's see, is the toy shop going to fit through now? It should do. Yes, it does. Perfect. Now, I think it's a little bit more unsightly. But I'm gonna have the have the bit here and have it on the outside instead of the inside. <coughs> and like I showed you earlier, that means I can clip. I can basically clip it on there, can't I? Oh boy, hold on a second. Stevie, come on, think about it. Through there we go first, then there. Then back out. I wonder if we really do need a tie strap for the bottom. I wonder. Oh, what have we done? Here we go. All right, we'll pop that in through there as well. And take it right in. Oh. Yeah, these are quite heavy duty tie straps, but hey, you know this will be this will be well worth it. Right, let's see. Let's jam this one in first. Get this one jammed right in, nice and tight. Look at that already. Won't rust. Won't do anything that one actually. Now is one tie strap going to be enough? Oh flipping heck I absolutely. Perfect. And the way I basically like my camera is, because you can't obstruct your view obviously, but I like having it just so I can see the top to see the red lights on. So now you guys all I really need to do is buy a microphone to pop in there, take the wire in and through this vent, put it in there, perfect, and that's us. I wonder if we're putting another another tie strap through you guys. I think I will, there's just a little bit of kind of movement and I just wonder if it's gonna sort of yeah might do with it. Might. Right guys, so yeah, double strap on there now. Look, here we go. One and two. 
I'm just checking my, my collar just to make sure you're in the, the shot. But that's it, you guys. That's really nice and tight. Just need to tighten it a little bit again at the back. Cut off the tail. But basically, this comma is now fire blade ready. You know, when we look at it like that, that's probably about the angle when you're leaning over the tank. And that should look straight ahead, which is looking really, really good, you guys. That's just awesome. So great. So hopefully the next couple of vlogs so out in the fire blade with this one and uh, the bandit will should get a lovely picture and I'll tell you something you guys this old helmet the old viper helmet <laughs> it was not comfortable at all this one is absolutely lovely so guys I hope you've kind of enjoyed the video I know it's been very short and sorry about me getting waylaid watching the uh, trawler men and stuff like that I just thought you might be interested in this you know like I said all we need now is the microphone I'm just going to pop it up and over the back and where the tie strap is right at my mouth we can just put the the microphone there and bang that's us ready to go you guys so just hints and tips as well you guys for vlogging you know if you're out in the motorbike um you know take extra batteries take an extra sort of mini sd card you know i've always got this spare one the spare one right in here you know for example it's a 64k one and uh, you know you need to take both those things out with you you know and if you're really rich, you can take out two action cams in case this one gets damaged or something like that, you know. But guys, that is basically the basic setup of how we do the motorbike vlogs when we're out and about. And obviously we'll have a lot of videos, you know, coming up, instruction videos like this, you know. As always, I'm not an expert, but, um, you, know, you know, I'll just show you the sort of hints and tips just the way that I do things, you know what I mean. But yeah, and that is looking absolutely perfect. Just needs a little clean out. Give it a clean as well and not be ready to go. So listen guys, thank you so much. So glad you watched. Thank you and we'll post a lot more. God bless you.